Hey guys, this is Josh with Honey Badger F1. Today is a very exciting day because we are reviewing a brand new sim racing product by Fnatic, their Podium Series Advanced Paddle Module System. Is this worth your 180 US dollars? Let's find out. So what exactly is the Podium Advanced Paddle Module System? Well, it's these fancy things that I've attached to the back of my F1 2018 limited edition steering wheel. Basically, it's a set of carbon fiber, magnetic driven paddles that replace the standard paddles that come with your steering wheel. Now, the advanced paddle module system is not compatible with every Fanatic product. It's compatible with the F1 2018 steering wheel, the new F1 2019 steering wheel, also the Xbox Universal Hub and the Podium Universal Hub but it's not compatible with every F1 steering wheel, including the eSports wheel, so be really careful before you buy them and check the website to make sure they're compatible with your steering wheel. Now, what do you get exactly for your $180? Well, with your standard um, wheel, you get a set of um, essentially spring uh, mechanism um, paddles, which have a nice click to them and they're pretty cool, but with the Podium series, you actually get a magnetic-driven um, set of paddles which Fanatic claims is essentially um, similar to what they use on the real F1 cars. And you know, I watch F1 all the time and these things look exactly like what they have um, on the F1 broadcast, so it's pretty impressive. So you get the set of magnetic um, carbon fiber paddles. You also get this extra set of paddles um, up here which you can assign to things like DRS and pit limiter. And you also have this set of, essentially it's a dual clutch mechanism, which can be set to various functions. So we're actually gonna go through um, all of those um, features and see if that's really worth the money. So I wanna start off by talking about um, the dual clutch mechanism at the bottom of the advanced paddle module system, because I think they're really interesting. They can actually be assigned to four different modes um, using the center knob um, on the F1 steering wheel. Um, in the first mode, um, they can be set to a dual clutch bite point mechanism. Now, this is very similar to what the real F1 drivers uh, use in real life, where they fully depress one of the um, clutch paddles, and then they um, depress the other paddle to a predetermined level, and then they apply throttle. And then when the lights go out, um, they fully release the fully depressed paddle and then they gradually release um, the other paddle when they feel like they have enough traction. And that allows them to have uh, the best race start possible and minimize wheel spin. So that's really interesting. Now, um, that um, dual clutch bite point mechanism, to my knowledge, is not currently supported by F1 2019, um, but I assume that it will be um, supported in a future update, so stay tuned. I think that's a really interesting feature because there's a chance that that could allow you to have you know, better race starts um, than your peers. So we'll see you know, that pans out. You can also set the paddles to um, clutch and handbrake. Um, obviously, um, F1 cars um, do not use a handbrake, so I'm, I'm never using that button, but I am using um, now the bottom left um, uh, paddle as my clutch. Um, so when the race starts, I'll um, you know, hold um, the clutch paddle and depress it, and then when the race starts, obviously um, gradually release it, and, and away I'll go. Um, you can also set the paddles to accelerator and brake. Um, I think that's pretty interesting um, for people who don't own pedals. You know, that could be an interesting feature. But also I was thinking for people with disabilities, that's actually great because, you know, if you can't use your legs, then you can use these paddles as your accelerator and brake. So I think that's wonderful to be more inclusive um, of uh, gamers with disabilities. So um, good job, Fnatic. Um, you can also set them to a mappable analog axis mode. Um, I haven't found a great use for that yet, but I'll definitely let you know if I do. Then kind of moving on up, you have your um, beautiful carbon fiber paddles, which again, to me, is the main selling point of the module, um, as well as these you know, uh, great uh, dual clutch mechanisms. And in terms of the upper paddles, you know, I haven't really found you know, huge use for them yet. I'm currently using my top left button as my DRS button and my top right button as my pit limiter. So I haven't really found a big use for um, the top paddles, but stay tuned, I might eventually assign them to different functions, so we'll see. Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to take uh, these paddles um, for a ride in the new F1 2019 game by Codemasters and see how they perform. So let's take a look. All right, so I am testing out the new podium paddles with F1 2019. So I have the clutch fully depressed on the bottom left-hand side. As soon as the lights go out, I release the clutch. And when I feel like I have appropriate traction, I switch into second gear. 
Um, so as you can see, I'm driving Lando Norris's Papaya Orange McLaren. Um, you know, overall, I feel like the paddles feel extremely premium. Um, I love that nice magnetic click that you get when you go through the gears. Um, you know, in general, I, I view them as a luxury upgrade over the standard paddles because they're certainly not going to make you any faster, but they really um, lend to that level of immersion, uh, which I, I think is sort of the case with, you know, all of Fanatic's podium products. Um, they definitely make things more immersive. Um, so, you know, overall, I'm extremely impressed. Um, I am looking forward to um, Codemasters allowing you to use that dual clutch bite point mechanism um, for better race starts. But for now, um, I do um, really love the look and feel of these paddles, and I'm extremely happy that I bought them. So in summary, uh, you know, I really love these paddles. Um, I love the way they look. I mean, you know, I feel like I want to write my name on the back of my wheel now, just like the real drivers are doing these days. Um, you know, I think they look great. Um, I like the magnetic mechanism. They feel great in the hand. Um, like I said, right now I'm using one of the um, clutch paddles um, to start my races. Um, I look forward to F1 2019 finally incorporating the um, dual clutch bite point mechanism, um, which should theoretically allow for the best race starts. Um, and yeah, overall, you know, I do think they're worth the money. You know, I realize that's subjective. I think a lot of people out there will say, you know, they're not really worth $180, but uh, to me they are. Um, I think it's a pretty nice upgrade um, for your wheel. And I know when they first hit the market, I was really skeptical and thinking who the heck would buy these. And, you know, lo and behold, I'm a believer. You know, I think they're great. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to hit me up on my YouTube page. Um, also, um, feel free to follow me on Twitch at HoneyBadgerF1. And if there are any other products that you'd like to be reviewed, uh, please let me know and I'd love to help out. So thank you very much for watching. And if you like the video, please subscribe. And yeah, happy driving.